Every once in a while there comes a product that is truly game-changing. Apple did it with iPhone and now I believe OpenIPC is about to release something also quite game-changing. It is with my pleasure I present to you today the OpenIPC Bonnet. Okay, enough with the flashy montage. Let's talk about uh, what it is exactly. So up until now, when you wanted to build a ground station, you had to do quite a lot. So you had to buy all the components, uh, you had to assemble them uh, together properly, you had to do the wiring, you had to know how, how to solder. And uh, that was quite challenging for a lot of people. Now today, we took all of those components and we combined them all into one single board. This board we called the OpenIPC bonnet. A bonnet is a type of a hat and hat in terms of technology also refers to things that add extra features to devices. This device is quite game changing because it's very universal. So uh, it works standalone. You can uh, literally just plug in power and uh, plug it in to your Android smartphone and it's gonna work as a Wi-Fi receiver or the Burex. Uh, you can use it with uh, any single board computer that has 40 pin uh, GPIO. Uh, so the RADSA Zero, you can use it with Orange Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi and so on. And this thing has quite a lot of features. So maybe let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is the board itself. It measures uh, 38 by 65 millimeters here. And uh, let's take a look at the front. So on the front, first of all, we have the five-way joystick, up, uh, down, left, right, and you can push down as well. We have the push button here. Uh, this can be used for recording or you can prog program it for anything you want. Uh, on the top here, we have uh, connectors. So this uh, big one here is for power. Uh, you're gonna receive this uh, cable. So uh, we have two red, two black, yellow and blue, I'm not sure what yellow and blue is for, maybe some developers in the comments will post it. And uh, then we have two extra uh, ports, they are used as a expansion ports, uh, ports for a USB hub, this could be an extra two Wi-Fi cards, so in essence this can have four Wi-Fi cards uh, in total, so eight antennas, which is quite a lot. So uh, on the top we have here uh, two BECs. Uh, battery, battery eliminating circuits and um, what else do we have lots of black squares I'm not sure what they are uh, a few orange squares on the bottom here we have um, the USB-C port and HDMI micro this USB-C port is used for connecting uh, the RADSA single board computer so as you can see it aligns perfectly here and uh, your open IPC bonnet is gonna come with this little USB-C cable. It's used for uh, bridging between the RADSA and the bonnet. Uh, it's made especially for this device. Now, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'd prefer not to use this. I'd prefer if these boards uh, communicated through the uh, 40 uh, pins, but um, I know it's technically possible, but it, it means you need to modify the RADSA, so you need to remove some um, resistors, I think, from this board. And a lot of people are not comfortable with doing that. I'm certainly not, so uh, I'm fine with uh, this. You know, while it's a small inconvenience, it's okay because it speeds up the work by quite a lot. And here on the left, I forgot, we have uh, two pads. They are used for electricity for the fan. So. This one here closer to my finger is in positive and the top on the top is negative. Let's look at the back. On the back we have uh, the socket, if my, I may call it that, uh, for the GPIO. We have uh, two 
protection covers for the Wi-Fi chips and we have four IPEX antenna uh, connectors and uh, this here is a display port. Uh, yeah, so how it works, this board can combine the power from here and the signal from here and it can output it through here as a display port. So essentially power, uh, sound and video all coming through one cable into your uh, display that can uh, support that. So as you can see quite a lot of features in very small board and that's why I'm so excited be uh, because you know <clears throat> up until now you had to literally buy probably like a dozen uh, small components and know how to solder and this solves this issue. So maybe let's uh, assemble it and I will put a timer here in the corner to see how long it takes. So first thing I like to do is actually connect the um, IPEX connectors because they are very small and if I connect the RADSA first it's gonna be very tricky as you can see it will take quite a lot of efforts to push in but um, let's see if I can do it in less than five minutes I'm 30 seconds in battery which I haven't prepared so we're over two minutes unfortunately we have the battery here and BAM as you can see the LED is on the Radsa LED is on as well so two minutes 12 seconds uh, let me guys know if anybody manages to uh, do it faster right now the world record is two minutes 12 seconds I'll probably try to, I could probably do it in a minute and a half. But uh, yeah, here it is, fully functional ground station built in less than three minutes, which is pretty good. Now regarding the cases, um, I've already designed a few of them and um, I'm not 100% happy with them, so I'm gonna continue on the development and the design. Um, but here are just two examples. And uh, this one is slightly bigger, so th this is a bigger fan and um, this one is slightly taller. It, this one is for goggles, this one is for my uh, monitor, so the monitor is going to mount like this. And uh, actually I have this case here. And the cool thing about this case is going to be magnetic. so. Uh, there's gonna be no rails it's just gonna snap on like this and be it'll be held by these magnets uh, but anyway i'm not happy uh, with them yet so I'll, i will not release them but uh, i will link the 3d file to this device uh, in the description below so you can take this file and design your own case and um, you can post it on printables just make sure to tag it as open ipc bonnet and i'm sure we'll see a lot of uh, interesting designs from you guys. Let's talk about the pricing a little bit. Um, Runcom is releasing their VRX for $100, which is pretty good price. It's very good price, in fact. Uh, Emacs, we don't know how much it's gonna cost, I think, yet. It's not been released yet. Well, this thing is gonna cost $40. It's actually under, slightly under $40. In my opinion, that's crazy value. Uh, what is gonna come? So. This PCB is gonna come, the, the bonnet, of course. You'll get four of those uh, antenna connections, connectors, and you will get two cables for connecting external USB uh, devices here. And you will get, where is it? Uh, this cable, it's gonna be without the ending. I soldered that on. Uh, so yeah, $40 in my opinion, that's crazy value. And um, the only drawback is as far as you know, it's probably going to be 100 uh, pieces produced at the start and I'm assuming they're going to sell out pretty fast. So first come, first serve uh, basis, uh, pre-orders are starting today. So 
uh, get yours while you can. Um, let me know what you think about this device. Personally, I'm very excited because there's so much potential in it. Uh, you know, I'm picturing, I'm probably gonna do myself a project where I'm combining an RC controller or, or radio uh, with this and the, and a display, something like this, maybe slightly bigger. And I'm gonna try to make a DJI style uh, controller. And you know, there's lots of devices you could use this for. Um, yeah, very, very exciting piece of technology. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks guys. If you don't want to miss me building the enclosure and building a finished kind of ready to go PRX, subscribe and this video is gonna probably come in a week or two. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you later guys.